Hey guys, it's me. <laughs> so welcome back to my channel, it's me Lewis. Um, if you haven't seen me before, hi. Uh, if you're new, hi to you guys, thank you for subscribing. As you can probably tell, there's a seat missing in my car. Oh, I woke up this morning and decided I'm going to record myself um, cleaning the inside of my car. So doing a full complete clean of the interior, well the front interior anyway. Um, so yeah, as you can see, there's no seat here <laughs> the driver's side's already taken out um i'm gonna start cleaning it but i'm gonna do a time lapse of, of cleaning it to show you guys um i'm gonna do the interior as well um it is raining on and off so i may have to stop videoing sometime and then just cut to it when i've finished it but uh yeah i'm gonna start cleaning everything i've got my mats out ready to start could be cleaned um i'm gonna take those now and do those because i can do those in the alleyway uh, underneath the house because it's uh, not going to be raining under there um, yeah and then see what happens but hopefully guys you enjoy this video um, if you do and you do enjoy it and you do like it and all those things that lots of youtubers say um, if you do like it give it a thumbs up um, and if you want to subscribe if you want to hit subscribe please do uh, I'm not going to force you into it, I say it every video, I'm not like one of those, oh subscribe to me so I can get lots of subscribers, I'm not like that, if you want to subscribe to my channel and watch my videos, thanks, that's all I'm going to say to you because in a nice way it makes no difference to me, I just enjoy doing the videos for the sake of doing them, especially at the minute when I'm at, not at work, I'm struggling to get back to work because I just aren't get, I'm not getting anything back from my boss, um, I was hoping to go back today but obviously not so... But yeah, I'm going to show you guys the video of cleaning the interior uh, of my car and hopefully you guys enjoy. Cheers guys! Right then guys, so what I'm going to do is show you guys how to get the seat out. So we need to get rid of all the crap that's on the seat. Uh, to be fair, receipts can go down there, tools can go down there, and long nose pliers, which you probably won't need. But what you will need is one of these. It's a T50 Torx bit. You can get these in a simple tool. I think it cost us three quid, but... That was from Wells World Market, so whether or not you guys see it, I don't know if you're actually going to be able to see me. But if I do it like that, we'll see. So there's on the focus if you want to get the seats out. There are, oh, if I can get it, four of these little Torx bolts. So you need to keep all of them safe, which I have done. Put them all there. Some of them are a, a lot tighter than the others. So, to be fair, that one wasn't tight. So yeah, you'll notice that some of them are a bit tighter than others. Oh, I'm ashamed of my car, it's filthy. The outside's not looking too good either at the minute. Now the other two are at the back, so I'm going to see if I can get two of them from here, which I might be able to. If not, I'll just go in the back. Uh, this one I will. Jesus Christ. That's what I mean by some of them are tight than the others. one I'll show you guys this one this one oh, mind my hand is just down there so what I'm gonna try and do is if I pop you guys up 
don't think that's going to work. We'll try it down there. Shall we try it down there? See if that works. Let's see. Yeah, that works. Alright, so you put your torque set in, little torque bit in, just there like that. And wow, oh, this one's really tight. Jesus Christ. by magic. Let's put that back. Oh, missed. Put that in there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move the chair out while you guys are down here. So ignore me for two minutes. I'm going to position the camera. Right. Uh, I actually need you guys. I just thought, right, come with me a second. Hello. <laughs> right, so you need to put the chair all the way back. Hopefully you guys can see, but... All right, you need to put the chair all the way back. And then what you'll find just here, if you guys can see, hopefully you can. Just here's a little box. Now what you need to do is try, he says, to prise, oh wow, well, you don't actually need to prise the box open to be honest. You just need to try and unscrew this little bolt, which isn't gonna happen, so I'm gonna have to take the box out anyway, so ignore me. It didn't need to on the other one, but hey ho. Let's put it this way. It's probably a simpler way to do with this, but if you've been watching my videos for a long time, you'll, or for a while, you'll know that I make things very, very difficult for myself. Stupid, I know, but hey. Right. These will come off. And then, we've got you just down here. Which is... Oh. Nope, I can't get you. There's four on here, guys, that you need to take off. There you go. And you just got a little box like that. Then what you need to do is spin... This little... I can't get to it. in that little box and what that does is it loosens the box so you can pull it out and then what you need to do is slide that in and then what you'll have is a block connector here and what you need to do with it which I can't show you on the camera because it's going to be an absolute nightmare to get this out. I really should just get the iPad before doing this, but I didn't think about that. Is disconnect the airbag leads and your electric leads. So simple as that. I'm just going to take the car seat out now. Oh. Took that away. Look at the receipts under here. Jesus Christ. Alright, this forward. And then she should come out. Simple as that goes. <laughs> Thank you.
I'm kind of ashamed to show you this guys, but uh, yeah, my car's vile, I haven't cleaned, I haven't took this inside of the seats out since I bought the car. I've never taken seats out of my car to uh, to clean it, so you guys are getting uh, a really good show today, although I'm in the money, I've got 50p and I've got a new pound. I have found an old pound as well, which is a put in the house, but if I remember to, I'll show you. <laughs> but yeah, what a ball ache. Glad I've done it, I've got past side to go, which is where you guys are at the minute. And uh, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> I'm knackered and I've only been doing it for probably half an hour. <laughs> I'll see you guys in a minute. This is disgusting, vile. I don't know if you guys can see what I'm doing, but I'll show you anyway. So what I'm doing now is I'm just gonna do the foot pedals. Give them the, give them the clean. All this is is just a normal detailing brush, by the way, as well. I've had this one for a while. Long lasted this one. bit of a clean and a scrub who's that there's someone reversing behind me fair enough you don't like right. give me the soap It does need a bit more of a vacuum to be honest, but I've not had a chance and I can't get the vacuum down there. And it's about to rain! Yay! May look better. That looks ten times better. Oh dear. Right, let's give this a bit of a clean along here as well, because this is disgusting. Off. I've had enough of you for the last couple of days. Ooh. Let's give that a bit of a wipe down. Oh, it's 100 times better. A hundred times better. I don't know if you guys can see this, hopefully, you can. I will try and record putting the seat back in, but how well that's going to go, I don't know. Oh, bye camera. So you what, I'm going to put you guys here so you can see what I'm doing, hopefully. This rain needs to piss off. I might have to pause, play a second, guys, because it's starting to rain quite badly.
Make sure the lines match up, which they don't. That's fucking miles away. Let's get the first ones in. Okay. Uh -huh. There we go. Problem solved. Right, so I need to put this back and I'm going to show you guys while I've got you. Oh, I think my uh, tripod's seen better days. Well, let's put you there anyway. Right. These are a bit of bugger to get back in, to be honest. Right, that's one in. And that one, yeah, should be that one. These are a nightmare once you've got to get them in. That's that one. You obviously don't go in there. There we go. Job done. Right, that's that. Right. I don't know if you can see, but hopefully you guys can see. You'll probably see me now. But what you need to do is there's a little nut just here. You have to twist that up to tighten it. It doesn't have to be overly tight, but once you've done it, you can't actually take that off. That's that. All right, let's get these lined up. Bolt it in. Right, and 
lastly, I just need to get the... I just need to put the clip on, which should, he says. Goes on like that. All right, let's tighten these up. And what I'll do, I'm going to put you down here. Oh. So you can see. over here again And there you are guys, so I'm just going to jump in the car oh, while it's here. So yeah, oh, so yeah, that's the video done. Uh, it's just a, oh, I say a quick one, it's probably quite a long one when you put all the video bits together. So yeah, nice and easy, nice mud, all the seats are back in now, as you can see. All nice and clean. And i give it one quick spruce, because it does smell extremely nice in this car now. Um, just need to tidy a couple of bits up. There will be a video coming shortly. On installing this which is a um, rear uh, engine mount so or front rear engine mount uh, this is from Puma Speed this was uh, was meant to go on when I got my car mapped but I've not been able to do it so this is quite heavy but apparently it's meant to make uh, meant to make your car a lot more tolerable and over 
bumps and well, I say I wouldn't say bumps, but all those sort of things. But um, yeah, they're on the website for Puma Speed, but I bought it with my uh, with my map for my car. So yeah, but anyway, guys, I'm going to leave the video here because I've took enough of your time already. If you have enjoyed the video, guys, please do leave a like and please do subscribe if you do want to. Um, and I hope you have enjoyed the video. I'm going to leave you guys here. Bye, guys.